Osteoporosis is generally a silent condition with few warning uh, signs um, as a person becomes older. And in fact, most people who have osteoporosis first know about it when they break their first bone, typically with a low trauma fall or uh, some sort of other injury. Um, medical signs that would lead a person to suspect that they might have osteoporosis could include a variety of medical conditions or metabolic uh, disorders that would lead to bone loss in a natural way if they were not addressed or treated medically. The person's family history does increase the risk for osteoporosis significantly, as does the person's age. And we know that age is a significant risk factor as a person gets older. In most women, osteoporosis becomes an issue around the time of menopause where uh, because of the natural cessation of hormone secretion, uh, the bone density will gradually decrease for the next five to 10 years before slowing down and then continuing at a slower rate of loss for the rest of her life. In men, osteoporosis can develop if they live long enough and continue to lose bone density as they get older. But beyond these natural situations, it's also true that uh, as many as 50 medical conditions can cause bone loss in a significant way if they're not treated or recognized, uh, and certainly if they're not addressed um, in a medical fashion. These conditions could include things as simple as oversecretion of cortisol, the stress hormone, that will cause bone loss naturally if uh, the person does secrete too much cortisol. Too much thyroid hormone secretion or too much parathyroid hormone secretion may also cause bone loss in a significant way if it's not recognized or addressed. There's a variety of other medical conditions that will do this as well, including some cancers, uh, some other inflammatory diseases, for example, rheumatoid arthritis, because of the inflammatory nature of the disease does cause bone loss as well. So one of the situations to discuss with your physician is whether you might have osteoporosis because you have some of these other underlying conditions or treatments thereof that might actually increase the bone loss that the person will get.